Hey guys, it's Corinne from It's So Corinne, and today we will be learning how to make this crocheted elephant. Now before we begin the video, be sure to like and subscribe to this video and the channel so that way you get alerts when I post new videos just like this. Now to make the little elephant, you are going to need medium weight cotton yarn, which is a category four yarn. Now this one is, um, select creations from Hobby Lobby and which I really like a lot and I use it a lot for my amigurami projects this one is actually the Hobby Lobby yarn as well so um but any cotton I also like peaches and cream a lot so um any cotton yarn which is category four will work and then we are going to need a 3.75 millimeter hook which is a letter F crochet hook and you're going to need two six millimeter safety eyes for his eyes, or if you didn't want to use safety eyes, you could always just embroider eyes on him, but I prefer the safety eyes. And then you are going to need a yarn needle to sew on his ears, his tail, and obviously to close up his little tushy. And then you're going to need a stitch marker, so that way um, you don't lose your first stitch because the elephant is worked in the round, so you want to mark your first stitch so you don't lose it. And then lastly, you are going to need some stuffing like you can use polyfill from the craft store or I just use bed pillows when they're on sale I buy them and then use the stuffing on the inside so once you've gathered your supplies you are ready to begin the super cute crochet elephant to begin the elephant we are going to make his ears now the right ear and the left ear have the exact same stitches they're just done in reverse so that way both of them are bigger on the top and smaller on the bottom so what you want to do is make a magic ring and we're going to insert all of our stitches into the magic ring before we close it. So the first stitch is going to be a single crochet and then you're going to do a half double crochet, half double crochet, and then a double crochet. Oops. and then a single crochet all into the magic ring and then a double crochet <clears throat> and then we are going to do a treble crochet which is like a triple crochet so you just want to wrap it around twice and then you insert into the magic ring and then you pull out and you yarn over and you pull through the first two loops, you pull through the next two loops, then you yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And then you're going to make a double crochet. Okay. And then you're going to do a half double crochet. And then our last stitch is a single crochet. Okay, and see? You have all of these stitches <clears throat> and you're going to just pull the tail of your magic ring. You want to pull it pretty tight and then see how we just made the right ear. And then you just want to oop, not throw your scissors. <laughs> you just want to cut it and leave a long tail for sewing and then just pull that through and then you can set that aside and wait until we add it to his little head. To make the left ear, we will be using the exact same stitches we used for the right ear. We will just be putting them in reverse so that way they match each other symmetrically. So to begin, you want to make a magic ring and then our first stitch is a single crochet. Then you want to add a half double crochet into the magic ring. And then after the half, you're going to add a double. And then we're going to add a treble crochet, which is just yarning over two times beforehand. And then you're gonna pull it through the first two, yarn over, pull it through the next two, yarn over, pull it through the last two. Just pull my little tail here so I don't lose it. Okay, and then after the treble, you're gonna add a double into the loop. And then we're gonna do a single right here 
and then we're going to add a double crochet maybe my yarn keeps slipping off my hook today and then we're going to add a half double crochet and then another half double crochet and then our last stitch is a single crochet okay and then we are going to pull that a little bit tighter we're going to pull onto our magic ring tail pull it pretty taut and then there is your other ear and then you just want to not lose your yarn like I am you just want to cut that tail make sure that you cut that tail along so we can sew it onto his little head later and then you have both ears and see how they resemble each other because we did them um, um, the stitches backwards so you just want to set them aside and then wait for the elephant to make the tail for the elephant all we're gonna do is chain five one two three four five and then you just want to cut your thread which my yarns already cut but you want to cut a long tail for sewing and then you just want to tug on this little tail a little bit so that way the chain gets a little bit tighter and then you want to cut off the short end of the tail like right here and then you want to take your nail and you want to undo the fibers so that way it has a cute little bushy tail at the end because if you've ever seen an elephant that's the way their tail looks so all you're going to do is set that aside until it's ready to be sewn onto the elephant. To begin the elephant's body, you are going to make a magic ring and insert four single crochets into it. So you're going to make a magic ring. And then you want to mark your first stitch. Like I said, um, the elephant is crocheted in the round. So you want to make sure that you always know what your first stitch is, especially with these, the beginning stitches because um, it is really little because we are making his trunk and you want to make sure that you can get into that stitch. So one, two, three, four. And so what you're going to do is you're going to pull your magic ring so it closes. But the trick is with small um, imagurami projects like this, is to not pull the magic ring all the way closed yet just because it makes it easier to get into the first stitch. So for round one at the end we will have four single crochets into the magic ring. For round two we are going to insert a single crochet into each of the previous rounds crochets. So you just want to insert into this first one and this is the reason why you don't want to pull the magic ring super taunts in the beginning is because that first stitch is a bear to get into if your magic ring is super tight. So that was one, two, goes right here into the next one. Ugh. And because this is so tiny, the first few stitches can be a little tough to get into, but the reason why I designed it this way is because, um, because it is so tight and whatever, it makes the trunk like turn up. So this is your last stitch. And as you can see, it is trying to roll under. So you do not want it to do that. So what you want to do is push out your work, push it out towards, oops, I just snapped up in my, okay. So as you can see, see, you wanna push it out that way. And this is the time that you want to pull on your magic ring and close that little hole that was there. See? So now at the end of round two, we have four stitches. I know it's hard to tell just because it's so little right now, but one, two, three, four. And that is going to be the beginning of his trunk. For round three, 
we are going to single crochet into the first stitch single crochet into this one and then we are going to add a increase into the next stitch because now we are going to start making the larger part of his trunk so after you do the single then you're going to do the increase into the next stitch which is just two single crochets into one stitch okay and then you're just going to repeat that you do a single and then an increase in the next one so at the end of round three you are going to have six stitches and as you can tell you're starting to make the trunk see the little tip of the trunk so cute for round four we are just going to put a single crochet into each stitch from the previous round so we will end up with six stitches Okay, so you're just going to add a single crochet into each stitch. At the end of round four, you will have six stitches. And what I'm going to do is just cut off the magic, the magic ring tail and shove it in there because it's getting in my way. Okay, so for round five, we are going to single crochet into the first stitch okay so we're going to single crochet into the first stitch and then we are going to increase into the next stitch and then you will just repeat that for a total of three times so single crochet then increase at the end of round five, you will end up with nine stitches. For round six, we are going to single crochet into the first two stitches. So put one single crochet into the first stitch. And then a single crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to put an increase into the next. And then you're going to repeat that for a total of three times, you're going to do single, single, then increase. At the end of round six, you will have 12 stitches. For round seven, we are going to single crochet into the first three stitches. So that's one, and your stitch marker, and then two, and then three, and then we are going to add an increase into the next stitch. And then you would just repeat that for a total of three times. At the end of round seven, you will have 15 stitches. Now for round eight, we are going to put a single crochet into the first four stitches. So that's one, two, three, Ooh, that's a little tight, four, and then you're going to do an increase into the next stitch. And you're going to just repeat that for three total times. At the end of round eight, you will have 18 stitches. For round nine, you are gonna single crochet into each stitch from the previous round. So you're just going to stitch, a single crochet stitch into each stitch, from the previous round. At the end of round nine, you will have 18 stitches. Now for round 10, we are going to add a single crochet into the next 16 stitches. So it's almost the entire round because the round has 18 stitches. So, oops, lost my stitch marker. Um, so you're going to single crochet all the way around until you get to the end because in stitch 17 we are going to do a special stitch called a bobble stitch which is going to create the first leg first front leg 
of the elephant. So you just want to single crochet in every stitch until you get to stitch 17 of the round. So, oops. so obviously if there's 18 stitches, it's next to last. So we're just going to stitch around. Almost there. So here we are. So obviously that's stitch 18. This is stitch 17. So what we are going to do is we are going to add a bobble stitch. And for a bobble stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, and then pull through the first two loops on the hook. And then you're going to yarn over, insert into the stitch again, yarn over, and then you're just going to keep doing that and pull through the first two. And for a third time, you're going to yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through the, the first two. Now we have four stitches on the hook, and you're going to yarn over one more time, go through the stitch, and then yarn over, and pull through the first two stitches on the hook. And now we have five stitches on the hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all five of those. And you just want to push out your bobble stitch like, like so. So that way it goes out instead of in. And then the last stitch of this round is a single crochet. So we're going to single crochet into this. And then you really just want to work that little bobble stitch out. Okay, so at the end of round 10, we will have 18 stitches. So we will have 17 normal single crochets and then the one bobble stitch. For round 11, we are going to single crochet into the first stitch. And then we are going to, let's mark that. We are going to put the bobble stitch into the next stitch which is going to be the other front leg of the elephant because we already have one leg, so we need the other one. So to bobble stitch, you insert, yarn over, pull through the first two loops on the hook, yarn over, insert into stitch, yarn over, pull through the first two stitches. You're going to do this four times total, guys. You're going to insert it into the same stitch four times, yarn over, and pull through the first two. And then now we have five stitches, so we're going to go all the way through all the stitches on the hook. And then for the rest of the round, we are going to single crochet. So we're going to add a single crochet into each remaining stitch from, oops, for round 11. And then you just want to add a single crochet. And once you get to the bobble stitch, you want to add the single crochet right on top of the bobble stitch. I'll show you once I get there. And round 11 is also where we are going to, when we're going to stop and add our ears and our eyes for the little elephant. Okay, so once you get to the bobble stitch, you can look at the top and you can see, okay, there's a stitch here. And then just like other stitches, bobble stitches still has the top portion. So you just go underneath these top two here and then add your stitch right above the bobble stitch. And then here was that single crochet that was the last stitch of that round. So now we are at the end of round 11 and you still have a total of 18 stitches. And you just want to work out those bobble stitches outwards so that way they look like little feet. And I don't know if you can tell right now, but they look like little bumps because that's their little feet. Okay, and then we are going to stop for a minute, crocheting, and we are going to add the eyes and the ears. So obviously, here's its feet. So it's trunk goes upwards and you can play with it and it actually because it's cotton and we've crocheted with such a small hook you can actually play with it and get it to turn upwards and once we stuff the face you'll see it even more so right now what we want to do is add the eyes and we want to add the eyes on either side of the trunk in in between round seven and eight so we're in 11 so it's 11 10 9 8 7 
So you want to put them on either side of the trunk, like right here with like five stitches in between. So one, two, three, four, five. So obviously you want to put the eyes in and then see, one, two, three, four, five. See if you like the placement. If you don't, now's the time to change it. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Those the trunks there. Okay, and then you would just put on the um, eyes stoppers on the back. Make sure those snap into place. And then we can move on to the ears. After you have inserted your eyes, it's time to sew on the ears. Now, please note that when I say right ear and left ear, I'm talking about when you're looking directly at the elephant. So I am working on the right ear right now. Okay, and so what you wanna do is you want to thread the smaller yarn onto your needle. And what you're gonna do is in between rounds nine and 10, we're gonna add the ears. So you want the ear to be even with the eye. So the top of the ear, ooh, and don't throw your elephant head across the room. <laughs> so you want the ear to be right here. So that long end is gonna go into that hole right here. So the short one is gonna go one over and we're going to pull that through. And then you're gonna just double check that the ear looks even with the eye and it does. So you're gonna put the long one on. What you're gonna do is insert it into that hole that is like right beside the short yarn hole. You're gonna pull that and then you're gonna go one over. See how you have the long one, the short one, and then we're gonna bring the long one up through the third hole right here. And we're gonna go through the front of the ear and the first stitch of the ear. And you're gonna pull that through and you're gonna go back through that same hole that we just came out. You wanna pull that tight and see how it pops the ear up. And then you're going to come back through that first hole that you put the long one through and then go through the front of the first stitch on this side of the ear. Go through that and then go back through the same hole to come out the inside of the hat. And you see as we pull that, his little ear just popped open. And then what you wanna do is you want to double knot the short one and the long one on the inside of the elephant head. So you just wanna double knot this. And you wanna pull tight, but you don't wanna go crazy and pull too tight and mess up your, well, snap your yarn. Been there, done that it is not a pretty picture because then you have to make, you have to make a new ear. <laughs> That's never fun. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is just cut that off. And then your little ear, your first little ear is on his little head. And then we are ready to do his left ear. For the left ear, we are going to do the exact same thing, but we are just going to do it slightly opposite just because this one's long end is at the bottom instead of the top like the right ear was. So we're gonna do the same thing though. We're gonna take the short one and we are going to see where the top of the eye is in round, between rounds nine and 10. So this is where the eye is. So the short one is gonna go right here. And then that's in, and you just wanna double check. Yep, yeah, see, this will be the one that this top ear gets sewn into. And we're gonna do the long one here. And then we are going to go into the one right beside where we put the short one and go through and then come out that top one right here. That's even with the eye. Come out through that, and then go through the first stitch of the ear at the top, and go back through that hole we came through right here, and then pull tight, and then go back through the first hole where we started with the long one, and then go through the first, from the front to the back of the first stitch on that side, and go back through, 
and then make sure you don't catch the ear as we do this. Okay, and then there's that. As you can see, we have both of our ears on. So all we need to do is double knot the long one and the short one inside his head. And his left ear is done. And we can move on to the next round. Now before we move on to round 12, I like to add a little bit of stuffing down into the face right now, just because um, it's easily accessible. So I just like to shove a little bit I mean, you can wait until the end when we stuff all of it, but I personally just like it. And like the eyes will keep it in place, so it's not going to really move while you're doing it. Now, you don't want to stuff the trunk, though. You just want to stuff his little face. Because if you stuff the trunk, he's it's going to be like permanently out like this, and we want it to naturally curl up so he looks like a cute little elephant. Now, if you want the trunk to stay out completely, then then you can stuff the trunk, <laughs> but you don't have to. Okay, so for round 12 and 13, we are going to put a single crochet into each stitch from the previous rounds. So when we finish, we will have a total of 18 stitches. So just like before, when you get to this bobble stitch, you just want to insert your single crochet into the two top yarns, just like you would, oh, I think I got caught, so you gotta be very careful. Okay, you just wanna make sure that you don't catch the bobble stitch as you're doing this. You just wanna get the two top yarns, and then you wanna crochet around. At the end of round 13, you will end up with 18 stitches. Now, for round 14, we are going to add a single crochet into the next 17 stitches. So, pretty much the entire round, because what is going to happen is in stitch 18, we are going to we are going to add a bobble stitch just like we did for the front legs and we're going to create the first back leg of the elephant. So you want to just crochet, single crochet, into each stitch around. And as you can tell, we are getting close to the body being finished because we are about to do the back feet. And then we will finish him up. Okay, so I'm almost there. Do a single crochet into each stitch. Okay, so this is stitch 16, and here is 17. And so we are going to add a bobble stitch into the last stitch of round 14. So you're just gonna insert, go through two, insert, yarn over, yarn over, go through two, insert for the third time, yarn over, go through two, insert for the last and fourth time, Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through all five. Okay, so at the end of round 14, you will have 18 stitches, 17 single crochet, and then this bobble stitch at the end. For round 15, we are going to add a single crochet into the first two stitches. So that's one. And then this is two. And then we are going to add a bobble stitch into the next stitch, which is going to be our last um, leg that we are making for the elephant. Okay. Okay, so you have the two first single crochet and then the bobble stitch. And then you are going to just single crochet into um, the next 15 stitches. At the end of round 15, you will still have 18 stitches. You will have um, 16 single crochets with that bobble stitch. And you wanna also, at this point, push out these bobble stitches so that way they're, they're coming out instead of going in. And you wanna make sure that, you know, all four of them are pushed out because we are 
almost at the end where we're gonna stuff and you wanna make sure that they look like little legs. For round 16, we are going to single crochet into each stitch of the previous round. So you're just gonna insert a single crochet into each stitch and you will continue that all the way around. At the end of round 16, we will have 18 stitches. For round 17, we are going to single crochet into the first stitch and then we are going to do an invisible decrease. Now, if you don't like invisible decreases, you can definitely do regular decreases, but I personally like the invisible one because it's neater. And to do an invisible decrease, all you have to do is go into the front loop of the first stitch and then go underneath the front loop of the second stitch like that and then yarn over pull through both of them and then yarn over and finish off the stitch so you're just going to do that around you're going to do a single crochet and then an invisible decrease or if you prefer a regular decrease at the end of round 17 you will have 12 stitches and Round 17 is the round that you want to start stuffing your elephant. Well, I say start, but if you've already put some in the face, then you just continue stuffing. Now you want to use something long and skinny. I use my, my letter C crochet hook just because the end is perfect for stuffing. Um, you can use a plastic chopstick or a wooden chopstick. Um, I heard someone say they use a pencil and an eraser that has an eraser. So, I mean, whatever works. I just know that my fingers won't go all the way down. So it's easier if you have something to stuff it. Okay. I like my amigurami to be like super stuffed. So I stuffed mine pretty full. As you can tell by this one, he's pretty solid. So you just wanna stuff him until he is the stuffing level that you like and then we can move on to the next round. Once you have your elephant stuffed as full as you would like him, um, we can move on to round 18. And for round 18, you are going to um, decrease a round. So I prefer to do the invisible decrease, but you can just do a regular decrease if you want. So we're just going to decrease all the way around and we are going to turn 12 stitches into six stitches. At the end of round 18 you will have six stitches and all you want to do is cut your yarn and pull it through and then we are going to take out the stitch marker and we are going to sew up his little booty and to do that you just have to go under each of the six stitches that you made and start pulling tight. Now I know some people prefer to go under just one loop. I go under both loops. I think this is a personal preference thing. And I think it also depends on like what type of yarn you're using. And for the cotton, I really like going under both loops. So that's what I do. And you just wanna go around and pull tight until you can close up his little booty hole. And then you just want to sew through it. And then you can just, it's so cute. Um, put a little knot. Like so. Go back through the hole that you came out of. Go to the other side. Pull it all. You pull it through. And then you can just cut this off. And just make sure that that end stuck in. If not, just use your little needle to make it go in. And then all that is left to do is sew on his tail. And the instructions say between 17 and 18, but I say put it where you want. <laughs> Pretty much it goes anywhere that you want. I do think it needs to be like in line with his, his nose maybe, which I don't want to and I just figure out which side lays down better and then I sew it to his little booty. So that was round 17 here. So we sew it like right here. 
and I sew it and I just tack it to his little bottom and we can just Just sew it right here. And then we're just knot this and cut it off just like we did with the other. And then your elephant is all done. You just need to fluff out his little ears where we smushed them while we were crocheting. And your elephant, you just push his little trunk up. And there you go. You've got a cute little crocheted elephant. If you would like written, printable instructions for the crochet elephant, please head over to my blog at itssocorini.com. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to share it, like it, and subscribe to the It's So Corini YouTube channel. So that way you're informed when I post a new video to the channel. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.